Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on flow meters. These are constant pressure variable orifice flow meters which are calibrated for a specific gas which gives a continuous indication of the rate of gas flow. Rotameter is a trade name. They are accurate to within 2.5%. Calibration occurs at room temperature and atmospheric pressure at sea level. For flows above 1 liter per minute, the units are liters per minute. And for flows below that, the units are 100 mils per minute. Advantages It is cheap and easy to construct, simple and reliable, depends on gas flow and not a power supply, and has no electronic display or component to malfunction. Components Flow control needle valve Location It is located at the base of the associated flow meter tube. Components includes the body, which is made of brass, screws into the base of the flow meter. The stem screws into the body and ends in a needle. It has screw threads to allow for fine adjustments. Flow control knob It is labelled, colour-coded and has a unique shape for different gases. Flow control knob guard may be present to protect against accidental adjustments. Mechanism It controls the gas flow through the flow meter via manual adjustments. To increase the flow of gas, the valve is turned in an anti-clockwise direction. The space between the valve needle and the orifice which gas enters increases to allow more gas flow into the tapered transparent plastic or glass tube. The plastic or glass tube is tapered and transparent. The bobbin or ball is lightweight and rotating. There is a bobbin stop at both ends of the tapering tube and ensures that the bobbin is always visible at extremes of gas flow. Mechanism of action Opening of the needle valve results in gas entering the tapered tube. The bobbin is held floating within the tapered tube by the gas flow passing around it. The effect of gravity on the bobbin is countered by the gas flow pushing the bobbin upwards. As the bobbin floats, a constant pressure difference across the bobbin exists. The higher the gas flow, the higher the force pushing the bobbin upwards against gravity and the higher the bobbin rises. Rotation The bobbin rotates as gas flows past it. Slits or flutes cut into its side at the top of the bobbin enables rotation within the center of the gas stream without touching the tube wall. This prevents the bobbin from sticking to the tube wall due to dirt or static electricity. The dot on the bobbin allows better visualization of bobbin rotation and indicates that the bobbin is not stuck. Reading the flow meter. Take the top of the bobbin or midpoint of a ball. Clearance between the bobbin and the tube wall. It widens as the bobbin rises with increasing gas flow. As the bobbin rises from A to B, the clearance increases from X to Y. At low flow rates, the clearance is longer and narrower as if gas flowing through a tube at the bottom of the flow meter. The flow is laminar and flow is a function of gas viscosity following the Poisson-Hagen equation. Flow rate equals pi p r to the power of 4 divided by 8 eta l or pi p d to the power of 4 divided by 128 eta l where p equals pressure drop along the tube p1 minus p2 r equals radius of the tube l is length of the tube eta is viscosity of the fluid and D, the diameter of the tube. At high flow rates, clearance is shorter and wider as if gas flowing through an orifice at the top of the flow meter. Flow is turbulent and it is a function of gas density. A Reynolds number greater than 2000 indicates that flow is likely to be turbulent. Reynolds number is V rho D divided by eta, where V equals linear velocity, rho equals density of the fluid, D is the diameter of the tube, and eta is the viscosity of the fluid. Low flow anesthesia, such as in circle breathing systems, two flow meters in series is used. One flow meter reads a maximum of 1 liter per minute with 100 ml per minute markings to allow fine adjustments of gas flow. The other flow meter reads a maximum of 10 to 15 liters per minute with 1 liter per minute markings. One flow control per gas is needed for both flow meters. 
Oxygen flow cannot be discontinued completely due to the presence of a stop on the oxygen flow control valve. A minimum oxygen flow of 200 to 300 ml per minute flows past the needle valve. Safety issues and limitations. Flow control knobs are color-coded for respective gases. The oxygen control knob is easily recognizable as it has a larger size, larger ridges, longer stem, and it is located to the left at UK and to the right in USA and Canada. Interactive oxygen and nitrous oxide flow controls, also known as the hypoxic guard. It is a European standard for anesthetic machines, EN740, requirement that anesthetic machines should have measures to prevent the delivery of gas mixtures with FiO2 of less than 25%. This hypoxic guard prevents the delivery of hypoxic gas mixtures to the patient. It ensures that a fixed percentage of oxygen is added to nitrous oxide gas flow where the nitrous oxide not be turned solely. Two gears are connected by a precision stainless steel link chain. A gear with 14 teeth is fixed to the nitrous oxide flow control valve spindle and a gear with 29 teeth is fixed to the oxygen flow control valve spindle and for every 2.07 revolutions of nitrous oxide flow control knob, the oxygen knob and spindle set to the lowest oxygen flow will rotate once. Oxygen flow can be adjusted independently of nitrous oxide flow because the gear on the oxygen flow control is mounted like a nut on a box. The hypoxic guard fails if wrong supply gas in oxygen pipeline or cylinder occurs, defective pneumatic, mechanical, or electronic components occur, leaks exist downstream of the flow control valve, and if a third inert gas such as helium is used. Leaks or cracks in a flow meter. This results usually from defects in the top ceiling washer of a flow meter. By having oxygen being the last gas to be added to the gas mixture delivered to the back bar, Delivery of a hypoxic gas mixture can be avoided. Bobbin sticking to the tube wall results in inaccurate flow measurements. It can be caused by dirt or static electricity. Dirt causes the bobbin to stick to the tube wall and alters the shape of the annulus and gas flow. This occurs when gas flow is slow, clearance between the bobbin and tube wall is narrow, the source of dirt is contaminated gas supply, solution installing filters before gas enters the flow meter. Static electricity. Charge builds up over time and causes the bobbin to stick to the tube wall, especially at low flows. Inaccuracies of up to 35% can occur. Solution. Use anti-static materials such as transparent film of gold or tin in the flow meter components or tube wall to prevent charge build up and use anti-static spray to remove charge. Non-vertical flow meter tube. Flow meter readings are only accurate if they are positioned vertically. Inaccurate readings is caused by variation in gas flow due to the change in shape of the annulus and friction from the bobbin in contact with the tube wall. Back pressure. A drop in the level of bobbin can occur when pressure rises at the common gas outlet transmitted back to the gas above the bobbin. Inaccuracies can be up to 10% especially with minute volume divider ventilators or Mandy ventilator. Insertion of any equipment which restricts flow downstream, such as the selector tech head or vaporizer, causing back pressure. To reduce back pressure, a flow restrictor is fitted downstream of the flow meters. Failure to see the bobbin clearly at extreme ends of the tube is prevented by illuminating the flow meter bank, a wire stop installed at the top of the flow meter prevents the bobbin from reaching the top of the tube. Carbon dioxide. Maximum carbon dioxide that can be delivered by a carbon dioxide flow meter is 500 mL per minute to avoid dangerous hypercarbia. Quantiflex flow meter. It is useful for changing the volume of fresh gas flow while keeping the proportions of nitrous oxide and oxygen constant. Its mechanism eliminates the possibility of reducing the oxygen supply inadvertently. The oxygen flow meter is situated downstream of the nitrous oxide flow meter. The desired percentage of oxygen and total flow rate is set independently. Correct functioning of linked valves is indicated by oxygen flow. Both gases arrive via linked pressure reducing regulators. 
Gas delivery by microprocessor control. Modern anesthetic machines such as Primus Drager may use microprocessor controlled gas delivery systems instead of flow meters. An integrated heater within a leak tight breathing system may also be present. Gas flow is indicated electronically by a numerical display. A pneumatic backup ensures continual fresh gas delivery should there be an electrical failure. These systems are well suited for low flow anesthesia. Standard vaporizers can be used. These are my references. Thank you.